Do you ever wonder how much different things would be if people in positions of power were held accountable for their lies? Of course, the most obvious example would be politicians. No matter which political party we're referring to, politicians don't ever seem to be held accountable for their lies. A close second for me would be the dairy industry, particularly in a time where ranchers resemble politicians much more than hardworking, you know, farmers or whatever the images that people have in their minds to make them feel better about supporting the atrocities that these people engage in on a daily basis to make a living. And Albert Strauss in particular has been lying profusely at a higher rate than usual. A frighteningly large amount of the population is all too eager to gobble up those lies for no better reason than these are the lies that they're already familiar with. So it's comforting to stay the course. Don't learn. Don't think. Don't use your eyes or basic reason. And certainly these days you don't have to use science either. Now, while someone like me attempting to tell the truth could be in danger of someone powerful who has made a ton of money off of his lies, his manipulation, his rape of the planet, his rape of the American economy, someone like that might have the power to come after someone like me. Truth today is defined by those who have enough money to win in court no matter what the actual evidence is. Truth itself doesn't even really exist anymore. Science itself is now optional. If you don't like what science has to say, just tell the world that it offends you. It's against your culture and your background. And now you don't have to accept it anymore. Or you go to one of these new pay-to-publish journals that will publish any crap you put out as long as you pay. Or there's the livestock industry, the California Cattle Council, etc. Who, if they don't like what actual scientists are coming up with, will pay to have their own research done and their own findings published. When people like that are rich, when people like that are powerful, then they can use the court systems to help them. And maybe someone like me who's trying to tell the truth could get sued for libel or slander, even though I have the evidence to prove that what I'm saying is correct. While Albert Strauss is allowed to lie without backing up any of his claims. I'm trying to get you, I'm trying to paint the picture of a world where a lie is considered a crime and the punishment for that crime is decided by the magnitude of the lie. You see, it doesn't seem to matter how much evidence is provided that the ranchers are having a devastating effect on Point Reyes National Seashore. Marin County, Sonoma, California in general. It doesn't seem to matter how much evidence we show that they're being subsidized and held up by we the taxpayer. It doesn't seem to matter how wealthy these people are. They will continue to present themselves as those who need help. And it's up to us to save their industries. Well, what if any of these people actually had to go to jail? When these lies that they have told are proven in a court of law to be lies, nothing ever happens to any of these people. So why not just keep on lying? Albert Strauss makes his living murdering the planet and committing crimes against sentient creatures while spinning a web of lies to cover up his actual deeds. Heck, how about those who give these people a platform to spread their lies? Why isn't the Marin Independent Journal held accountable for printing any crap that comes out of these ranchers' mouths? And the Point Reyes Light, the exact same thing. Strauss and other ranchers love to refer to their way of life as sustainable. What does sustainable even mean? And again, the majority of people out there who eagerly accept that word, embrace that word, I would guess don't actually understand what it means either. It sounds like it's supposed to be something good, and therefore you get to apply that 
to what you already wanted to do and feel better about yourself. If what Albert Strauss does for a living is sustainable, I'm sure he will have no problem giving up all the subsidies and other forms of government support that he receives. I'm sure he would have no problem disclosing all of his financials to the public. If what Albert Strauss does for a living is so sustainable, then why does the entire agricultural sector of Marin account for only 0.3% of the county's GOP while simultaneously using 50% of the land? You need 50% of the land to produce 0.3% of the GOP? The county literally pays millions and millions of dollars into the dairy industry just to keep it afloat. And these people taking this money from you have the nerve to turn around and tell you how valuable that industry is. This is so untrue that almost any industry that was given 50% of the land would be more sustainable than what Albert Strauss does. When locations like Point Reyes National Seashore are used as examples, as evidence from the side telling you their lies, and the dairies in Point Reyes National Seashore look like an ecological disaster, and that's as good as it gets, People have no choice but to run from reality, put their heads in the sand in order to keep believing what they currently believe. And this is before we even get into the ethical, the moral dilemmas involved in dairy. The fact that this person turns living creatures into perpetual pregnancy machines, reduces the miracle of motherhood, to a way of making a buck that stealing babies from mothers days after they enter the world is just a normal practice to make peace with that and dismiss it as normal as even good is nothing short of psychopathic and this is all so people like Albert Strauss can continue to the next lie, which is to tell you that this product, which is the pregnancy lactations of a bovine, are what you should be consuming to be a healthy person. A fluid that is meant to turn a baby animal into a 500-pound animal within three months is what you, a human being, should be consuming and consume it your entire life? <laughs> I mean, you people deserve to be laughed at when you want to embrace such absurdities. And it doesn't help that you're not exactly the poster children for what healthy, athletic human beings look like. I've been wondering what to do with my footage from a trip I took a year ago when I enjoyed some time out in Jenner and the entire drive home hours and hours in the car non-stop filming was ranch land which means I was looking at ecological disaster I was looking at devastation the only exceptions were where people had had the foresight to create parks, which basically means protecting nature from ranchers or from loggers, etc., etc. These people who claim to be stewards of the land are the very people that nature has to be saved from. But even if that wasn't true, you need not look any further than the fact that you can look left and right out your window continuing at full speed for hours and not see human food being grown. Just never ending land being used for cattle. Now you can turn around and say, oh, but cattle are human food. Yeah, sure. The most inefficient form of human food you could come up with. It's ugly. It smells bad. And the amount of food 
that comes out of that disaster is negligible. Another word that's thrown around a lot nowadays is viable or non-viable. And I think instead of using the word sustainable here, we should be looking at whether or not something is financially viable. I've heard people argue that veganism is not viable. Nothing is less viable than what I'm seeing out the window as I drive here. And as an ecologist, as a nature enthusiast, knowing that what you're looking at was once a biodiversity hotspot, full of a wide range of plants and animals. It doesn't help. And again, it doesn't help that the people that consume ridiculous quantities of this type of food that are supposed to be so great for you are shockingly obese. These people are growing diabetes. They're destroying the planet to grow the next generation of diabetes. Why, why do men look like they become pregnant as they get older. That doesn't happen with any other species, so don't tell me that it's natural. <laughs> now, I'm fully aware of how deep indoctrination runs, of the desire not to open your eyes, and all the weird mental obstacles that prevent us from opening our eyes. Even my supposed allies who want to save Point Reyes National Seashore from ranchers have these ridiculous ideas about well let's let's boycott this dairy and that dairy while going ahead and supporting other forms of dairy you know this industry is evil and even the people who think that they're doing good things still support evil that tells you how big of a challenge lies ahead. And I've had to stop worrying about whether or not I offend anyone talking about obesity because 70% of the population is obese. Therefore, there's a 70% chance that obese people are reading or listening to my content. It's time to stop being offended by everything and wake up to the fact that as our meat and dairy consumption increase, humans stop looking like humans and begin resembling blimps instead, while having the audacity to claim that we are carnivorous predators on top of the food chain. We are destructive manipulators who enslave other creatures while simultaneously destroying natural habitat in order to engage in such foolishness. When people like Albert lie, they can't seem to lie without using the words family, multi-generational, sustainable, local, healthy, organic. When it comes to the word organic, let's not forget that the qualifications to meet the criteria of being organic aren't exactly inspiring. Let's also remember that most of these ranchers switched to organic because the industry demanded it, not because they were being altruistic and doing the right thing from the beginning. Hey, stewards of the land, why weren't you already organic? Why weren't you already models for doing the right thing? If this is what you're about, why was there so much room for improvement? Oh, right, because you're about profits at the expense of animals and the planet. Until policy steps in and tells you you need to be better. Wow, so inspiring. And again, the right thing, only compared to the other disaster next to it. Anyway... These are just words. These are mind games. All buzzwords that people like Albert himself have reduced to meaning nothing. When people like this lie so much and abuse words this much, they lose their meaning. And in fact, they've all adopted new meanings according to what the people in power, like himself, want the words to mean. When Strauss claims that these farming practices work in harmony with nature, well, to me, that is a reflection of the same level of disconnect required to think that stealing babies from mothers is also a natural process. The very first thing that agriculture does 
is remove natural habitat to make way for their industry. These ranchers also affect the mindset of people when they are allowed to call native vegetation invasive vegetation. This shows a complete ecological disconnect. These people who say they're connected to the land in fact make their living at war with nature, fighting against nature, and taking every resource that they can and using it just for themselves. Those of you who think this is not true, I challenge you to take a walk through Point Reyes National Seashore Ranches. At the best time of year, when the color of green can ease your mind into thinking something good is taking place, well then I challenge you to take the time to identify those plants that are green on the ranch lands and get back to me with your census of which ones are native or beneficial to native wildlife. You're not going to find them on ranch lands unless, of course, it's ranch land where there's no cattle. These ranchers are responsible for the removal of native vegetation, which is the very core of habitat. They are also responsible for the introduction and continued spread of non-native invasive species. When you see the damage that these so-called small ranches have, then it is in fact a testament to the opposite of what Albert Strauss has written recently, saying that this is a sustainable model of farming and ranching to be replicated around the world. Sure, if you want the entire world to look like a bomb went off. Strauss refers to the public at large as a threat. A threat has emerged against us and our way of life. Well, this is quite an example of a special interest group thinking that what they want is the only thing that matters and referring to actual citizens as a threat. Strauss stoops to new lows by trying to act like he's concerned about local school systems and that people are going to move away if the dairies and Point Reyes National Seashore are shut down. You mean all the exploited migrant workers? that you guys will also call INS on at the drop of a hat. And each of these quote unquote historic families have incredible land holdings throughout the state that they can already move away to. The toll that the dairy industry has taken on Point Reyes National Seashore, on California, on the world at large, is finally catching up. Nature can only be so resilient to this level of abuse. Younger generations are realizing it. People who live in Marin County are supposed to be nature lovers. So if people that kill nature for a living move away, I say good riddance. Bring in a new generation who actually want to be stewards of the land rather than abusing the phrase stewards of the land. When Strauss wants to talk about these families having been there for a hundred years, well, don't worry. We will build a museum of horror, paying tribute to the atrocities that you and your families committed. Raping nature for personal gain. Raping the taxpayer for personal gain for a hundred years. A quick Google of Albert Strauss, as usual. These dairy farmers always find the one green field that they haven't completely overgrazed and photograph at that one time of year that it's green. Oh, here we go. Oh, what were you guys thinking? Finally, a little bit of reality showing. <laughs> Finally, a little bit of reality showing in the background. Oh boy, you guys better get that photo off the web. And how about this one? You know, they have the nerve to talk about a small operation. All of that land. All of that land belongs to the cattle. And they're still having to come out with a feed truck? I guess uh, the grazing isn't cutting it, even for a small operation. 
using a shocking amount of land for your cattle to graze. You know, these ranchers have been telling the exact same lies ever since the creation of the seashore, ever since the proposal of the seashore and claiming economic ruin to Marin County. Well, only the exact opposite of their claims has come true. The money attributed to tourism of the park itself absolutely avalanches on top of the ridiculous output of the dairy ranches. And that output is really negated by the amount of money spent just to keep these shitty unsustainable practices running so that these guys can go and spend your tax dollars on advertising that tells you that unsustainable things are sustainable. But now we got to come back to that word sustainable. According to the Oxford Dictionary, it means able to be maintained at a certain rate or level. Well, I guess in that case, technically it's correct because it can be maintained at a certain level as long as you don't give the slightest shit about the planet, as long as you don't mind continuing to steal water from nature, truck it in from elsewhere, dump ridiculous amounts of manure onto the land, continue to fight against native plants and introduce invasive plants, turn what used to be gorgeous, diverse habitat into a field of devastation and suck American agricultural subsidy programs dry just so that you can turn around and pretend that your non-viable business is viable. As long as that fits into your definition of sustainable, then I guess I can't argue it. I'm sorry. I take it back. You are sustainable. Ah, uh, uh, here we go. Psychopathic behavior. Hi, I stole you from your mom so that I could use her body for my financial gain before I slaughter her. And if you're a boy, you will be dead very soon. If you're a girl, you will suffer her fate. You will never know the comfort of your mother. But here, suck on my fingers because I'm such a good guy. I'll pose for a journalistic opportunity letting the very animal that I'm exploiting suck on my fingers. That was inaccurate. Sorry, let me correct. Albert himself doesn't do this. He has plenty of exploited migrant workers doing this for him on a grand scale. Albert only comes out for the photo ops. I'm going to cut it there for now, but there is much more to cover with evil Albert and his lies, so there will be a part two. For those of you who are actually willing to dig deeper into this and check on the data. I do have some videos that I recommend. There was a project called Sustaining Stupidity, part one and part two, which shows the numbers behind what's happening in Marin County.